<gasps> Hi friends, and welcome back to Lolly Bee Bridge. Today's kitchen project, ginger snap cookies. Okay friends, I am so excited to make these ginger snaps with you today. Nothing says fall like a ginger snap cookie. Do you like ginger snap cookies? I think they're delicious. Oh, and they smell so good. All right, friends, so number one rule before we start any project in the kitchen, that's right, ask a grown-up. So today for these cookies, we are gonna use our big stand mixer. So we really wanna make sure that our grown-ups are nearby or they're standing next to us to help. Anytime you use big equipment in the kitchen, you definitely want a grown-up. The other thing we'll be using today is the oven, which gets really, really hot. Okay, so now that our grown-ups are on board with today's kitchen project, let's put on our aprons. <laughs> I still love when it does that. <laughs> it's kind of magical. Okay, grown-ups on board, aprons on, check. Let's go wash our hands. All right, friends, we are in the kitchen and working with food today, so let's scrub our hands really, really good with warm water and lots of soap. Right, now that our hands are clean and dry, it's time to gather our ingredients and our tools. Flour, sugar, brown sugar, butter, egg, baking soda, molasses, salt, cloves, cinnamon, ginger, One cup, a third cup, and a quarter cup. One teaspoon, a half a teaspoon, and a quarter teaspoon. One tablespoon, a mixing bowl, spatula, Mitts, a baking sheet, a silicone mat, and a timer. <sighs> Friends, <laughs> that's a lot of ingredients. Okay, but we can do this. I have faith in us. Okay. So, before we start mixing everything together, let's remember to preheat our oven. For this kitchen project, we're gonna need to preheat our oven to 350 degrees. All right, now that our oven is heating up, it's time to mix everything together. So one thing you wanna remember when you're making something from scratch is there's usually an order that you need to add the ingredients in. So for that order, we're gonna do it now, but I also have it down below in the description. Hey, and if you're making these, you should ask your grown-up to snap a picture of them and post them on Instagram. Tag us at Lollibee Bridge 
so that we can see how you are progressing in your kitchen project. I think that sounds like a great idea. Okay, so let's start getting all of these ingredients mixed together. Let's see. So the first things we're gonna to mix together are butter. Come on, little butter. <laughs> I already got it on my hands. Sugar. And our brown sugar. And we're going to give that a good mix together. Now that we have that all mixed together, let's go ahead and scrape our beaver. And we also want to scrape the sides of the bowl to get everything back into the bottom. Okay, up next, we're gonna add one egg. Be careful not to get any shell in there. So we have one egg. And we're gonna add our molasses. So um, molasses are really, really, really sticky. So be careful as you're putting it into your mixing bowl. And you can use a little um, spatula to scrape it out. You wanna make sure that you get as much of the molasses in there as you can. Somehow I managed not to get it on me. Well, that's a first. <laughs> All right, so let's keep mixing it together. All right, all of that is mixed together. Let's see what it looks like. Ooh. So once again, we're gonna scrape our beater and the sides of our bowl, and then we are gonna add in the rest of our ingredients. We are gonna put in our baking soda. Salt. Ooh, that's loud. Ginger. Cinnamon. Come on, cinnamon. There you go. And our flour. And we're gonna mix again. But because we have the flour in there now, we are gonna start mixing really slow to begin with so the flour doesn't poof <laughs> all over the place. everything starts to be combined like that can you see in there yeah so then we're gonna turn our mixer up to a higher speed Our dough is 
all mixed together. Oh, and it smells really good. So now that we've mixed our dough, it is time to grab our cookie sheet so that we can get these into the oven. It's time to get these cookies into the oven. <laughs> All right, so you're gonna need your baking sheet and we're gonna use a silicone mat, but you can also use parchment paper. And the reason we use a silicone mat is because we bake a lot of cookies around here in Lolly Bee Bridge. <laughs> So that way we can just use it over and over and over and over and over again. <laughs> You'll also need a little bit of sugar and a tablespoon. All right, friends, let's dig in to this cookie dough. So we're going to take about a tablespoon of cookie dough and we are going to roll it into a ball, just like that into our hands. And then we're gonna roll it in the sugar. I know, right? A cookie rolled in sugar. And then we're gonna place it on our tray. And we're gonna do that about nine times. how pretty that looks. <laughs> All right, this is our last one for this tray. We will roll it in some sugar. There we go. Look how pretty those are. All right, now that they are on the tray, it's time to put them in the oven. We're gonna cook these for 15 minutes. Don't those look amazing? Oh, and they smell delicious. Oh, I love ginger snap cookies and I am so excited. I think we should try one. I mean, we should probably wait till after dinner, but I'm so excited. Let's try this one. You know what would go really great with these ginger snap cookies? <laughs> pumpkin fluff. Have you ever had pumpkin fluff? No. Well, if you would like to make some pumpkin fluff to go with your ginger snap cookies, we have a link in the description below on how to make it. And it's delicious. I think you should try it. All right. Ginger snap cookie into the pumpkin fluff. Oh my gosh, friends. That is so delicious. I hope that yours have turned out just as good. <laughs> All right, friends, that's the end of this kitchen project. But I had so much fun doing this with you. Remember, don't forget to ask your grown-up to tag us on Instagram at Wallaby Bridge of a picture of your finished product so that I can follow along and see how you're doing. All right, friends. Well, I hope to see you again soon. Bye.